Uh, well, Ministers, I know you're, you're hoping to bring forward the Greyhound Industry Amendment Bill uh, shortly, and uh, it's been through pre-legislative scrutiny and so on and so forth. There are rumours, though, in the um, animal welfare community, the ISPCA and Dogs Trust and other organisations, uh, that there's, no, there's not going to be a white list of countries with low welfare standards to which the export of greyhounds will be forbidden. And as you know, uh, Ministers, I brought forward this little bill, uh, uh, the Greyhound Welfare Bill there, this time last year, which would set out Thank a white list of banned countries uh, where they don't have our standards. Thank you very much for your cooperation, Minister Tumas. Minister Troy. Thank you. Uh, uh, the Welfare of Greyhounds is regulated by the Welfare of Greyhounds Act 2011 and Animal Health and Welfare Act 2013. The latter applies to all animals whether kept for commercial, domestic sports show or other purposes. It contains robust measures against ill treatment of do animals. It provides that a person having an animal in his or her possession or control must safeguard and not threaten the health and welfare of the animal. The Act provides for increased levels of penalties. The position regarding the export of dogs, including greyhounds from Ireland, is as follows. The vast majority of dogs are moved from Ireland, that are moved from Ireland go to the UK. Trade within the EU, within the EU of dogs, including greyhounds, is governed by EU law. Dogs moved to another EU country from Ireland must be accompanied by an EU pet passport, be microchipped and have va a valid rabies uh, vaccination. The premises exporting dogs must be registered with the department in advance of the export. Um, before travel, dogs must undergo a clinical examination and be by an authorised veterinarian and must, who must verify that the animals show no obvious signs of disease and are fit to be transported. Dogs must also have a health certificate issued by a department veterinarian. These procedures include vaccination, ensure that only healthy dogs over the age of 15 weeks are allowed to be exported. Exports must, exporters must also comply with the EU law on the protection of animals during transport, while the transport of animals by air is govern, governed by the International Air Transport Association. In this context, I am aware that a number of airlines do not transport commercial consignments of greyhounds. At Bordnagon, who are responsible for the governance, regulation and development of the greyhound industry in Ireland, has stated that it does not support the export of greyhounds to destinations which do not conform with the standards of the Animal Health and Welfare Act or the Welfare of Greyhounds Act or its own code of practice and standards. It's a view which I fully endorse. My department has a close working relationship with the animal welfare charities on all aspects of animal welfare. Officials of the department have met with the welfare members uh, of the International Greyhound Forum, which includes Dogs Trust, the ISPCA and Bordnagon, to consider issues surrounding export of greyhounds. I am aware that Deputy Brohan brought a private member's bill to amend the Welfare of Greyhounds Sir, Act. Minister, can I stop the road? Yeah. I, I have to ask members who are using their phones in the confines of the chamber to please stop. I have held my patience on several days, but it is very disruptive to members and to the ministers who are trying to put questions and answer them. So, Deputy Stu, well, look, it, I am just hoping that it is noted, <laughs> and that we, we do not. Well, maybe somebody, somebody, might, somebody might tell them. Okay, continue, uh, Minister, Minister Dowd. Okay. <coughs> my focus is on the Greyhound Industry Bill. I have introduced uh, to ensure that the principles of good governance and regulation are clearly and unambiguously laid down in primary legislation. In broad terms, the Bill seeks to address deficiencies in the existing legislation and the governance of Bordnagon. It will strengthen regulatory controls in the industry, modernise sanctions and improve integrity with a view to building a reputation. Just to finally, sorry, it is hoped that the memorandum will go to the Government in the coming weeks, which will request approval to publish the, general, the updated general scheme and submit it to the Office of of Parliamentary Council Thank for you. drafting. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. No, uh, uh, but you, you still haven't told me whether or not you will uh, agree to the, uh, you know, inserting a white list into the legislation, which is what I think the, the, the welfare agencies want. Like we know in the past, dogs have been exported to Argentina. I think yourself and, and your predecessors told me that to, to Pakistan. Uh, we, we've had Irish dogs ending up in China. I always get the mantra that, of course, 80% uh, of racing dogs at, uh, in, in the UK are our dogs, and that then they end up, uh, uh, you know, going from there to these other countries. But 
you know, you still had the, you have the, a very bad situation that countries with very low uh, uh, um, standards of animal welfare uh, end up be, becoming the homes for our uh, wonderful, almost national symbol, our, our greyhounds. And in fact, I asked you last month. In fact, one of our famous dogs, Droopy uh, uh, Patrice, uh, ended up uh, certainly ended up in China. You, you told me, but no uh, do, uh, greyhounds are exported directly uh, um, to China. Uh, but that dog was found in China. Uh, so, I mean, you do need, I think, in the legislation, the primary legislation, to have a strong. You can have this bill insert it straight in if you want to, or just take my bill as, as a government bill and bring it through the house. Uh, either way, we need the white list, and, and we need to make sure our dogs don't end up in places like the Cannon Drome in Macau thank and so on. Much, Thanks, uh, Okay, thank you, Deputy. Yeah, well, look at the um, legislation. The bill has gone through pre. Pre-legislative scrutiny with the committee. Um, I really am anxious to get this introduced to the floor, where all those matters can be considered. Um, we can have a whitelist uh, or not, but ultimately, um, we have no control if, if, within our own control if we have dogs going to other EU countries and they subsequently go onward travel. That's beyond the competence of this country, this state, and the legislation that we will. Enact. I think, Minister, yeah, you need obviously to work closely with the European Union as well. Um, uh, in, you know, in, in relation to that. But uh, you know, when you do look at the overall figures, uh, I think the Greyhound Rescue Association told us that between uh, 2010 and 2015, almost 3,000 of our greyhounds uh, were surrendered to, uh, surrendered to dog pounds. Two and a half thousand uh, greyhounds were destroyed by the pounds, and 400 were, were uh, you know, thankfully homed or collected uh, by the welfare organisations. Uh, you know, they're pretty bad figures, um, and uh, even in 2016 we, we had 284 greyhounds entering pounds, of, of which uh, half were euthanised. Uh, so like, there is a huge welfare issue there that I do think uh, you obviously you, you know, you need to address. And as you know, the Dogs Trust organisation who helped me to draft the bill on the whitelist, uh, they recently launched the Grey Watch campaign, uh, asking members of the public to consider adopting the, the greyhounds and lure shirts, these, again, wonderful sentient uh, uh, animals. And, um, but still, uh, over half of them, as I said, were euthanized during 2016. So I think there are welfare issues, but you, the Jeff. focus really is on abroad, on countries which don't share our standards. And Jeff. I'd like you to consider that originally and put it into the bill. Do you want to make a quick comment? Yes, Very quickly, part and parcel of the, of the draft legislation, I think, which everyone will agree with, is governance, integrity, and welfare. Welfare, and it's a point I will be making repeatedly to the, uh, in my role, um, to the, the stakeholders that they have to measure up to that as well. I mean, I think it's, it's, it goes without saying. And I think hopefully we can get this legislation into the floor here and discuss all those matters comprehensively. The pre led scrutiny process did, was very effective as far as I can. Um, well, I, if, it was my, if, if I had my way, it would be tomorrow, but I'm hoping soon. Okay.